Hi myself Vaibhav. In today's session of Visual J for this, I will be explaining to you the use of indicator block named uh, Unbalanced Volume OBV. We will see how we can utilize this indicator to design and develop the automated setups, automated algorithms on the Visual J for X platform, which we then can run on the J for X platform. So we will uh, get started for the day. This indicator is included under the volume classification. This is an indicator developed using the volume data and you will find it under this category. Now we head to the Visual J Forex board developed by the Microscopy Bank SA to make our life easier. Here this is listed under the volumes and today is the turn of OBB. In prior session, we had seen the money flow index. To initialize the algorithm, you can utilize any of the above three start points. For example, we will take the on tick as our preferred start point for the day. Then comes the question of defining the parameters for the OBV. Before we define the parameters for OBV, I would like to make you familiar with uh, its functioning, how it uh, works. This is a fairly simple indicator to understand. All it does is uh, take the volume data for each uh, time period which can be chosen as per your requirement. You can take the hourly, daily, four hourly or any other time parameter. You have to define the candlestick period and then that particular period volume data it will be taken into consideration and uh, the formula is also fairly easy all you have to do is uh, choose a start point and uh, then from that point onwards we add the volume whenever the given candle closes higher for that particular period and uh, whenever that uh, hours or uh, for that period candle closes lower we deduct the volume and uh, in a way we accumulate the volume and uh, depending on the price rise or uh, fall we get to plot the OBV line I will add the OBV on this chart as well you do a quick search and you get the on, -bal on balance volume indicator and uh, for this indicator, the absolute volume value at any point in time is not that important. What is more important is its uh, trajectory, whether the volume line is on the decline or whether the OBV line is on the rise. That is uh, more important. We decide the trading opportunities based on that, what is happening in any given instrument at any given period of time. And uh, as you can see, after this uh, rise here, the price action has now entered into a consolidation phase, but the OB value is uh, on decline. So that means that the initial buying momentum is now waiting and uh, maybe a turnaround is possible. To design and uh, develop the trade setup, more or less, you will have to take other indicators also with this to help you find the trading opportunities in a better way. This uh, standalone indicator might not do the job, but you can uh, try, you can try to devise a system where even the OBV on its wheel were fine. So it's always a choice which is uh, yours to make and uh, you have to see how best to utilize this indicator block. So here you can observe that whenever the price action is on the lower side, that uh, creates volume data will be deducted from the prior OBV and as a result of that, this uh, plotting you can see is uh, declining whenever the price is falling and uh, it uh, pays attention to the volume for any particular time period and uh, as a result of that, we will uh, have a good idea whether the buying is uh, happening or whether the selling is happening in a uh, significant manner or it is just uh, simply the low volume 
uh, move where not much of an participation is there and uh, bias momentum might not sustain. So we get to make the difference between two scenarios and then make an informed decision. So here, the OBV is uh, plotted at bottom and uh, you can uh, make your observations and uh, try to come up with a uh, formation which will uh, help you guide in your trading endeavor. So whenever there is a price rise accompanied by strong buying momentum, we see the OBV goes on to rise and uh, whenever the price starts to line and uh, as a result of that the OBV starts to decline as we have to deduct the volume from the prior OBV value whenever there is this uh, price decline and as a result of that we will have these uh, moves and uh, that will uh, give us an idea where to get involved, where to go for a long trade or where to go for a short trade. So we can utilize this indicator to that end. So as I have explained to you the basic functionality, then comes the question of defining the parameters. First thing you have to do is uh, take the instrument of your choice, the instrument on which you want to work and design and develop the algorithms. The default instrument is a uh, Euro USD. You can change it if you want to. If you want to work with any other instrument, all you have to do is take that particular instrument. For example, we will take GBP USD as you, the instrument of our choice for today's session. Then comes the question of the time period of the candle. So here, if you want to work on the lower time frame for scalping opportunities, I think the period of 10 minutes or even 5 minutes or 15 minutes, the period the, of shorter time will be helpful but if you want to see what's happening on the longer term then I think uh, the period like uh, daily, 4 hourly or even uh, weekly will uh, be a much better choice. So it's always the time horizon which we you are looking at and that uh, that's how you make the choice of uh, the period for the candle. So this is a GBPUSD chart. Now if I make it to 4 hourly, we will have the OBV value for uh, 4 hourly time frame and we will get to see what's happening. As the underlying momentum has been bullish for quite a while, we have seen the accumulation in the OBV graph and it has gone on to rise and rise. But then the, here you will find this peculiar situation where the OBV value started to decline even though the price value of the GPU didn't really go down. But then this uh, further uh, break kind of false breakout happened and then this sudden sharp drop. So you can uh, make your judgment that uh, in the GBP USD we saw that momentum was fading a lot earlier then we got this uh, last leg move and then sudden drop a uh, sharp fall and this uh, kind of divergence happens many a times and uh, we get to know that possible turnaround is uh, there and uh, we can spot such opportunities with the help of this indicator. Now coming to the shift parameter, here we will change it to 4 hourly. I have made it 4 hours. Shift is the loop period whether you want to use the current time periods data or if you want to Retrieve the prior data. All you have to do is uh, take the appropriate shift value. If you want to take the current data, then you have to leave the shift at zero. But if you want to go back in time, say for example, if you want to take the four uh, red uh, back data, then all you have to do is uh, take the shift value at four 
and uh, we will be able to go back in time and uh, iterate the value for that particular period of time whatever was the obv value it will be retrieved and we will be able to do the comparison we will be able to see whether the obv values over two different points in time and uh, we will be able to do the comparison whether the obv is on the rise or whether the obv is falling or uh, if there is not much of any change so we can then make a decision depending on that change this parameter to 4 and then we get the output value that means this OBV output value is for the 4 uh, hourly candlestick periods and uh, we are taking the prior value so we are going 4 period back of 4 hours each and we are retrieving the value for the GBP USD we also have to be careful about the upper side there will be slight difference depending on the upper side so you have to make sure that whenever you are doing the comparison the upper side is same either bid or ask then the applied price in uh, this case the applied price makes difference but uh, not to that extent in case of other indicators but still you have to make sure that uh, all these parameters are tried all you have to do is do some experimentation see how you can customize these uh, provided uh, options to editing and uh, there is no single golden combination you have to try out various possible options and then you will see that uh, there is always some difference depending on how you take the applied price whether you are working with the high price low price or the other combinations so this ov value changes to some extent and that happens simply because sometimes the high price might be on rise but the closing price might be lower so because of that this difference in ov crops up and we have to be mindful of that so you should be doing this uh, uh, testing and uh, try out various combinations and combination which you think will work best for you using that particular combination you can design and uh, develop the algorithm all these parameters can be defined so you make your own choice so i have uh, given you a brief idea of how this indicator works and how you can uh, design and develop your own setup own algorithm using this uh, platform so that's it from my side for uh, today's session. If any of you have any query or any idea to share, you can write to me and I will be more than happy to take the discussion forward. Thank you all for joining in. Goodbye.